Never Give Up enters the fray and aims to establish itself as the newest hardcore platformer to hit the Switch eShop. Based on the Give Up Flash games, the latest instalment is a solid experience on the Switch, and I'm saying this as someone who loves platformers which push me to the limit. Trial and Error is the name of the game and Never Give Up achieves this in an incredibly unique way. Each level has stages which gradually increase in difficulty. Pretty standard, right? except each stage is the same room but extended to include new obstacles and ways to kill you, gradually making the overall level a trickier and sometimes swear-inducing affair. This is a fantastic way to approach hardcore platforming, as it allows players to gain familiarity, which in my opinion, helps me to get to grips with each level. I can't recall seeing this method used before, but I think it works incredibly well here. Obstacles are mainly standard affairs, including circular saws, lasers, pits, bombs and so on. Never Give Up doesn't really offer much innovation in this regard. The core platforming is very much simple and straight to the point. I really enjoyed the use of bosses at the end of each world though, mainly due to the refreshing change of pace. Naturally, they are as frantic as the rest of the levels, but they are different enough to be a pleasant and brief switch in style. Speaking of style, Never Give Up provides you with loads of costumes to unlock as you collect coins, one of each per level. My personal favourite was the dinosaur. I mean, just look at him. This is purely a visual change with no gameplay differences, but I appreciated the fact that collecting coins has a purpose other than just being a collectible for the sake of it. A feature which I didn't really use was the ability to, well, give up. If a level is getting too much for you, there is the option to completely skip it and move on to the next one. It essentially acts as a taunt and a way to try and, you know, make the player give up and accept that they're not good enough. However, because of the scaling nature of the levels, I failed to see why you would do this. I mean, why buy a game clearly aimed at hardcore platform lovers to only skip levels when you suck at them? In the words of many, get good. Never Give Up won't go down as a classic of the platforming genre, but it doesn't have to. A solid as hell platformer with incredibly challenging levels and some hilarious dialogue is enough for me and should be enough for you. Never Give Up, for this reason, earns an indie nexus full heart. If you enjoyed this quick review, be sure to check out our written version which will be available around the same time. Also be sure to check out some of the reviews for other games we've been covering recently, such as Exception, another brilliant platformer. For more indie content, subscribe to Nindy Nexus on YouTube, follow us on Twitter and check out our website. My name is Tom, thank you so much for watching this review. Peace out.